taken quickly now and it's uh, Ledger who's picked the ball out left hand side for Kendall Kendall into the feet of Cornier or he tried to anyway just caught Cornier flat footed and away come Charlie through Shenton right hand side now Harvey Smith trying to play it inside and maybe a chance for them to escape and switch the play it's a good wall into Blakeman now left hand side Blakeman tries to play the ball at the edge of the box it's not a bad effort either into the feet of Samson oh it's an early goal we've only had four minutes here and it's Ollie Shenton who's drilled Charlie in front he's made space for this shot mate he's completely nutmegged uh, Michael Ledger and it's gone right past the uh, Gio Bellagami before he knew anything about it not a good start for the Moors unfortunately you know we need to put ourselves together again now calm down yeah just yeah breathe and, talk. Yeah, yeah absolutely just get a few touches in here clear the minds again and start once again because it's been a powerful start from the home side and Moors haven't come dealt with it so far and it might get worse from here's a shot from long range John Ustabashi let him fly, but it was always going wide. Um, Gio Bellagambi had that one covered, pulled his hands out of the way. Ramshaw gets it back from the throw from Blacken. He gives it into the feet of Doyle. Uh, Boyle now, sorry. Boyle back to Cousin Dawson. His ball in for Cornier. Cornier tries to play it first time round the corner, but it's cleared away. Cornier then goes back to try and atone for that misplaced pass, but it's good work by the Bashi. Ustabashi. He's still going towards the edge of the box here, and he might have had it. A touch of his oh, heels there, but he's laid it off for Whitehouse. And Whitehouse has shot, just glances across the side, netting on its way wide there. Some people thought that had found the top corner. It was a lovely move. I think the referee had an opportunity possibly to give a free kick, played the advantage, and, and Whitehouse just couldn't hit the target, Leachy. That's a let off. Yeah, it was a great run, though, from the winger, wasn't it? it... They've turned back to Bellagambi, though, and Bellagambi has to work it out to this near side. Cousin Does Dawson well. collects it. Oh, Here's Taylor, Taylor. Well, get a chance now. Oh, there's a bit of space on the left hand side now. And the a chance in as well. The ball in the box. Oh, it's missed. And it's I think offside. Blackett actually was offside as well in there, but he didn't make a connection with Kendall's cross. He got well advanced on the left hand side there, Reese Kendall. He's fit a teasing cross around hip height into the edge of the six yard area. Blackett couldn't get on the end of it, but uh, the offside flag had gone up anyway. Yeah, it's never been entirely comfortable, has it, so far tonight for, for Spenny Moore? Ball forward there, it's taken off the toe of Greenfield, but he's going to chase the loose one. It's uh, the defender who gets there first, though, and Blakeman gets a bit lucky there. He's clearance bounced right straight back into his path. Corner, corner with a little layoff for Greenfield now. Greenfield's got Ramshaw making a move down the right. Here is Ramshaw now. It's all a bit congested, though. There's black and white shirts either side of him there. Corner's done ever so well, and he'll get it back down the right-hand side. It's bright player from the middle. It's Maloney, and he's crossed. Almost fell for Taylor, and then it hits the defender. White House at the far post. And just drops really fortuitously for Matt Irwin in the goal. Only a few inches too high for Glenn Taylor, that cross. Yeah, great cross. Great bit of play down there with the, uh, the three lads. And uh, a great cross in the end. Uh, and unlucky not to equalise. It just didn't fall either for uh, Reese Kendall as he was last man in. Blakeman trying to attract his attention on this near side. But Irwin goes long. Sampson's uh, little chest down there is cleared away by Ledger. Blakeman trying to get underneath it again. It's a great first touch to bring it out the sky there. Yeah, and absolutely. There's it in the, the feet of Ustabashi again. Here's a ball through oh, by Harvey Smith run. and it's knocked off and it's Ustabashi trying to get through. And Bella Gamby saves with his feet there. Ustabashi with a really firm strike low and Bella Gamby equal to it. It was a good save. Absolutely, man. Fantastic save. It's, it's well worked again. So a left wing corner to Charlie. We've had, uh, well, we're just approaching the final 10 minutes of this first half. Ball swung in dangerously there. It's headed up in the air, but not fully away from goal. Ustabashi there with Corne. Corne has got to be careful. It goes back to Blakeman. Cleverly inside of one, and his cross is fizzed in. Cleared away by Curtis. Miss kicked further clear by. I'm not sure what sure he was doing. It's not uh, clear again, though, and Blakeman's going to try the shot from distance, but it's uh, not uh, on target this time, but a decent effort from Adam Blakeman there. Ball lifted forward, and it's Charlie who are the first to get on the attack in this second half. 
And it's a chance maybe for a shot to come into the box. And Hall with an ambitious little flick. It's a bit of improvisation from uh, Charlie's front man there. Flying back heel attempt there to try and divert the ball past Bellagambi. But his shot just looped into the arms of the Spennymoor goalkeeper. Here's Kendall. Ball at the edge of the area there. It's gone all the way across. Taylor couldn't get there. It's going to fall on the edge of the area now for Forbes to have a strike. And it's blocked by the defender. And it goes away Go in. on the far side. 57 minutes on the clock. Still Charlie have the one goal and nil advantage. Kendall with the throw. Into the feet of Boyle now. Boyle is going to play a low ball at the box. But it's easily cut out. Cummings... Gets onto it there and clips a nice ball in towards Ramshaw. Only cleared as far as Greenfield. He gives the left-hand side. Now for Kendall, that's a good ball in the box. Cleared away. Forbes on the edge of the area. And this time he puts his effort over the bar. It's a couple of chances Elliot Forbes has had. First was blocked. That one far too high, really. But it's scooped a bit better from the, those. Scooped the shot, really, didn't he? And... Curtis takes the free kick quickly for Cummings now. Right-hand side. Cummings oh, drills one forward, it's intercepted, and then a strong challenge on the halfway line, and the ball squirts out left hand side kindly for uh, Chorley now. And it's the runners. plenty of bodies in the middle here as the ball goes into the middle, and it's finished. It's 2 0. John Ustabashi with the finish as the ball came across. And it's uh, second goal. And it's so disappointing, Leach. We just got a foothold back in the game. We felt like we were starting to creep back into it and then we're hit by a second goal. That's it. Again, we're just not clearing our lines again, are we? We're just too easy. But it was a tidy side-footed finish. Curtis oh, slides it forward, but it's intercepted again there and Boyle has to work hard to win it back. But again, he's closed down this time. He fouls his man. And Whitehouse... It's been sent off here. Whitehouse, yeah. what a silly it's move. A silly one. He's blocked the free kick, Billy Whitehouse, and haven't already been booked. Charlie are now down to 10 men. But uh, a second yellow on the referee. He couldn't get his cards out of his pocket quick enough, let's be honest, as the ball yeah. goes in the edge of the box. And now Charlie have to play the final 18 minutes or so with 10 men. We're going to have a shot. So here's Boyle. Can Spennymoor take advantage of that as the ball comes into the box and it's flicked on? Oh, it was Cummings up there with the oh, little Cummings. glancing header. And it's just wide. It was a good delivery in from Kendall from the right. Great ball in, mate. Great ball in. 